October 17th, please come support your Alma High School competition cheer team at Monticello while competing at districts. Admission is $7 per person. The event starts at 6.30 and the doors open at 5.45. Alma will compete at 7.45. Come dressed in Patriot Out to support the team. Woo! Good morning, Patriots. I'm Eklos from the Bailiwick of Jersey. Today is Wednesday, October 17th, and here are your morning announcements. Attention seniors, please check your emails for important information about how to submit your senior quote and activities for the yearbook. If you had your picture taken by an outside photographer, the deadline to send it in is November 2nd. Please email your pictures to ahsyearbook at k 12 all Dot com, or see Miss Reeser in 407 if you have any questions. Have you forgotten to get your portrait done for the yearbook? We know you do just don't just want your ID picture in the senior section. There is one last chance to get them taken for free by Prestige Portraits on October 27th. Check your email for information about how to sign up for a session. Attention Patriots! Please check your email to vote for the final homecoming court. Please select members who through their positive attitude service, leadership, or character have made a positive impact in Albemarle. The AHS film team want to help you get in the mood for Halloween this year. On Thursday, October 25th, you are invited to a screening of M. Night Shyamalan's film, The Sixth Sense. The screening will take place in the library at 7 p.m. It's open to the public and completely free. Concessions will be on sale and proceeds will go to fund the production of this year's VHS film. Grab a friend and come get creeped out in time for Halloween. If you're interested for ushering uh, for the drama, uh, please come to the interest meeting October 29th during lunch in the drama room, room 41. Now here's Daniel with the guest artist. Hi, I'm Daniel. Recently we learned about a very special artist that came here to talk to our artist at Elmore High School. He talked about the importance of his work to the community. Um, what's important is what you communicate in your work, right? So if you even have an interview with someone about what values do you think are important, then you as the artist or designer translates that into something visual. He is working on the, um, the memorial to um, the 5,000 slaves that were working on it to build the UVA. And um, basically, he was an engineering student. Um, he makes sculptures and the like. And uh, he, he was the one who was chosen, ultimately, to, um, to build the memorial. I was in this really theoretical, classical mechanical engineering program, where as soon as you decide you're an engineer, your whole four years are set for you. Um, so I didn't have a lot of room to play. I didn't have a minor in visual art. So what I did is, over my summers, I would go and apprentice under artists and things like that and learn from them. <laughs> the message he was trying to convey with his artwork was that um, that everyone can get somewhere in life, you know. Um, and he had a bunch of different symbolism throughout um, his monument that he was trying to create as well. So I thought that was really interesting how you put all those elements together in one. Um, it's definitely pretty important, I think, um, especially for people who maybe aren't as confident in their art to kind of see that they're just, they're, you know, they're not superhumans, they're just normal people who, um, who are talented in what they do. He had it actually facing north, which describes like the escape route. Um, and I thought that was really interesting and also um, the different concentric, concentric circles. Um, like they all meant different things. Like the larger one went, meant like a more um, general thing, whereas like the smaller ones meant more like specific things as well. So all those elements coming together. And also the different techniques that he used because um, he did a ton of research on like how to put all those together, like the different textures, the different... Um, so he used um, these vertical lines that sort of um, had a basis in Nigeria since he's from there and he, um, that meant more like royalty and he wanted to convey that in his piece. Like people with like different ethnic groups or like different um, culture have like different ideas or like different ways to interpret arts. So it's really um, important to let like all students or like other people to like learn from them because like everyone has like different ideas and how they like interpret it is really like fun to watch.
Thanks for watching. I'm Daniel. See you next time. In sports news, this Friday is our homecoming day. Due to the tailgates, all cars must be moved out of the Patriot lot by 4.15 p.m. All cars must be moved from behind the gym by 4.30 p.m. If anyone has special circumstances, please notify the athletic office. Mia Lang finished in first place in the girls' golf state qualifier with an 83. She will advance to the girls' state championships next Monday and Tuesday. Congrats, Mia. That's all for now. Have a great day.